Hey everyone, this is Frugal Panda here with a quick review of the Shine Mountain Zoo. This is a zoo that's located in Colorado Springs, Colorado on the Shine Mountain. <laughs> Elevation of the zoo is 6,714 feet above sea level. It is the highest zoo in the United States. The zoo covers 140 acres, 40 of which are in use. So this zoo has plenty of room to expand. Um, the exhibits they have is like the African Rift Valley the primate world, Australian walkabout, and many more. Um, the hours, it, it, it operates is usually from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Holidays, it, hours may differ depending on the holidays, but usually 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Heads up, and this might be something new since, you know, before COVID or after COVID or during COVID, um, we had to order our tickets online. I did see people showing up, and that's what they were told. You have to get your tickets online because they have certain time frames when they accept new people coming into the actual zoo itself. So that's just a heads up. It could change in the future. Annual visitors to the zoo, about 600,000. We decided to go here. I want to say we are on our way to Manitou Springs. It was really early. So we were like, oh, why not? Let's go here first. And so we only spent a few hours here. We were able to do it pretty fast. And that was walking through. And we saw every, I think about everything though. Um, I have not been to this zoo in probably 20 plus years since like literally I came at night during a Halloween. They had a Halloween event when my kids were like really little, like little, little. So about 20 years or so more. Anyway. Um, the zoo itself is really cool. It's one of those zoos, like I said, it's one of the highest elevation zoos in the country. It is the highest elevation. It's also hilly, but it is handicap accessible. So, um, you shouldn't have problems if you got a rollator or something like that. You may need assistance or anything. I'm sure they have different, uh, tools to assist people with different, uh, may have some disabilities. But anyway, the area that this zoo is located in is near the Broadmoor. It's a beautiful area of, uh, Colorado Springs as well. As you want to go to Garden Gods, you want to go to other things located in this area after you're done here. There's plenty to do here. And also the, I believe it's the Rory Rogers Monument is here. And many people also come to this area for the Rory Rogers Monument, which is up the hill or up the mountain from there. Anyway, as you can see, it's a very cold day here. And um, the animals are out. A lot of them are out. Some are inside because it is cold. It was a cold day. It's been snowing clear. You can see the snow on the ground. Um, the the traffic for I like the people here, how many people visitors was definitely tolerable. I've been to zoos where it's like, oh my God, there's so many people around me. But I think they do a really good job of controlling how many people actually are within the zoo. One of the biggest attractions you just see, uh, as you'll see in the video, is the actual giraffe. The, it's known for the giraffe exhibit. The giraffe exhibit is actually really cool because you can actually feed the giraffes. And all these places, all these interactions, there's... Uh, um, zoo employees and volunteers in those vicinities so just be mindful uh, of that that they're always around so they're making sure that people are in there who are interacting with the animals are doing right to be honest with you you see right here is the elephant uh exhibit right here um i thought that was really cool of course most of the elephants are inside it was probably let's say on this day i can't remember if i wore a coat the um, if I didn't wear a coat, it was in in the 40s. I wore a vest, so it was probably in the 40s. If I wore a coat, then it was it was in like the 20s or something. But it was a pretty cold day. You see a lot, still see a lot of the animals here. Um, you can eat here. They have food. You can get hot chocolate. You can get their popcorn. You can get all that good stuff. Um, you can buy pellets or... Um, and things like that. Like I said, you saw me feeding the giraffe earlier and you can feed the giraffes. There's different interactive things for little kids. This is an awesome zoo. Is this one of the best zoos I've been to? No. Um, I think it's a middling zoo, but the, the atmosphere, uh, the environment that the zoo is located in bumps it up a lot. And what I noticed though, even though the zoo itself, the usable area of the zoo that they're using right now is only around 40 acres. They have a lot of animals, and they they have a lot of heavy hitter animals, you know, such as rhinos. You saw all the giraffes they have, and you didn't even see the ones that are in the buildings. I didn't put that footage in here because of the cold weather. They have ones in the buildings, the elephants, uh, bears. They had quite a few bears here. Um, so they have uh, lions, tigers, oh my. They had everything here. So and I've been to bigger zoos that don't have all that, and this one does, uh, as, as well as the gorillas and everything else. Um, accessibility, like I said, handicap accessibility is pretty good for this zoo, even though it's a very hilly area, it's still pretty good. And 
uh, bathrooms. There's bathrooms all over. Um, you want food? There's food everywhere there. Um, you know, things like that. So I didn't, I thought that was really great that they had everything that you really needed if you, if you wanted it there. Parking was easy. Parking was not stressful. I've been to some zoos where it's really hard to find parking, everyone. And to be honest with you, this one, I think it's because you order your tickets online. And, um, I think it really cuts down on just a jam pack. They really control how many people go in and out of the zoo. And I'm trying to think what day we went. We might have went on a holiday too, everyone. This might have been New Year's Eve. I just can't remember anymore. But it was either that or it was Christmas Eve. But it was one of them. So they had modified hours because of that. And like I said, um, the people that work there are very nice. Very, They provide information. Everyone that was there was really, you know, was you know, cool. Everyone was good. Uh, this is a nice area of Colorado Springs. And Colorado Springs is not a bad city, by the way. But, you know, this is one of this is the Broadmoor area. These are like a lot of these houses in this area, the eclectic ones. And then others are like million plus dollar houses in this vicinity of this zoo. So you can go from here to the Garden of Gods, all that good stuff there. Now, well, let me see if there's anything you really need to know about here. Like I said, the parking is really good here. Um, you can get, get plenty of interaction with a lot of the animals. They have so many of them from, as you saw the wallabies or you will see the wallabies. They're like literally over there. You'll see the penguins. The penguins are like literally right there. They take them for walks. You can observe them right there. They have hippos. You saw the moose. Um, they have a lot of stuff here. That's what's really surprising about here. Cause when I saw it, I haven't been here in years and I went in Halloween 20 some years ago. So I didn't even pay attention to the place really, to be honest with you. I had three little kids in tow, but for the size of this zoo, it has a lot. I, it reminds me a little bit, um, uh, sometimes when I went here, it kind of reminds me of the Portland zoo, uh, when I was there, which I thought was another on the smaller side of a zoo. That was actually a really nice zoo too. And so I would say, I would equate this one to the Portland Zoo. I think they're both really nice zoos, this one and that one. I liked um, the environment that the Portland Zoo was in as well as I liked the environment of this zoo where it's in, sitting on the side of a mountain. You know, I thought that was really awesome, to be honest with you. So that's what I'd say. I would I would uh, equate this one to, in my memories to the Portland Zoo. I think they're very similar um, in the vibe I get from them. You can see all the different animals, lots and lots of animals. There you can see the penguins. Um, yeah, like I said, the penguins are right there. There's like this little bitty tiny like rope <laughs> there. So they can literally come up to you. But there's someone standing there to let you know, hey, guys, back up. You know, you got to take care of the little animals and stuff like that. There's a huge alligator and then there was other alligators. But there's this one that was huge. It was like a huge one in one of the exhibits there. Um, which is really cool. They had hippos. They had a baby hippo. I don't know if that was the baby ones. They're so large. Sometimes it's hard to tell. There was a mom and a baby and they had more hippos there. And there was also a thing for you can weigh yourself. It tells you how much a hippo weighs and then you can stand on and see how much you actually weigh in comparison to a hippo, which I thought was really cool. And also they have all types of events here. So like they were having like, I want to say like New Year's Eve lights and things like that. So that's why I always remember the last time I was here 20 some years ago was the night uh, walk. We can do the Halloween thing. They have everything from date night to outdoor school, animal tracking, hands on for homeschool. So they have a homeschool day for people that want to um, that homeschool their kids. It's a good day to take bring your children here for, for a school activity, especially those that are homeschooled. Uh, stroller safari. <laughs> so they have something called stroller safari. So like I said, they got a lot of things. Colorado Springs is a, is a big time family friendly um, community and city. That's why a lot of people move here and stay here. Anyway, this is Frugal Panda. I want to thank everyone for watching. I recommend you go check out the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo located in Colorado Springs in the Broadmoor area of Colorado Springs, Colorado. One of the best states to live in, one of the best states to come visit. Come out here and check out some of our stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.